Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Joe Semi. My name is Joe and I am your host for today. Today I want to talk to you about my five favorite date night perfumes for women. And these five top favorites of mine are five that my wife owned. So I went into her perfume locker and went ahead and picked them out so that I can show them to you. These are my five favorite that I love smelling on her and they probably are yours as well. If they're not, that's okay. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you like as your favorite date night perfumes. I'd love to hear from you. So I'm gonna do this in order of my least favorite to my top favorite. So we're gonna do, we're gonna start with number five and work our way to number one. So number five on the list is Dahlia Devin by Givenchy. This is an Eau de Parfum concentration. It is a delicious fragrance. It does smell very rich. You get the feeling of wealth when you smell it and it's very beautiful. It has a very nice smell. So the fragrance is based on a Sambac Jasmine fragrance. It also can get woody as well. So these are, again, the types of fragrances that I gravitate to personally. So when I smell it on a woman, it definitely is attractive. And this one is that as well. So on the top note, it starts off with Mirabelle Plum. In the middle notes, you get the Sambac Jasmine as well as white floral notes. And in the base notes, which are the woody notes, you get sandalwood, you get vetiver, and you also get some patchouli as well. Number four on my list is from the House of Chanel, and it is Coco Mademoiselle. The first time I ever smelled Chanel Coco was in my younger years, actually, in high school. I smelled it uh, on a woman, and it smelled amazing. It, there's just some level of complexity there, maturity. It smells very, very nice. And ever since then, I've enjoyed the smell of it. Chanel first came out with Coco, and then they came out with several versions of that, so different spin-offs. Next after Coco became Coco Mademoiselle. Coco Mademoiselle is sort of the younger, kind of fresher version of Coco. So if you're a younger person wearing Coco, you'd probably want to go to Coco Mademoiselle because it's sort of for the younger crowd. They didn't take away the fact that it still has the essence of Coco in it. So when you go in and smell it, anybody who knows the original Coco, you do smell elements of the original Coco in it. So the top notes definitely focus on orange and mandarin. So you get orange, you get orange mandarin, you also get orange blossom. So citrus is big on the top note. This is what makes it the fresh young thing going on right there because I don't believe that that is part of the original opening of Coco. The base notes is where this is at because this is where it gets very special. When it dries down, you get patchouli, you get tonka bean, you get vanilla, you get the, the woody sweet notes right at the end. This is what you fall in love with Coco for because it's just so beautiful. So that's my number four. Number three is from the House of Bulgari, and it is Jasmine Noir L'Essence. This was a blind buy that I bought for my wife because I saw a box set that included a really nice travel mirror and a couple other things, and I saw it for such a good deal. And I saw the word noir, I saw the word jasmine, and I know Bulgari is capable of making some amazing fragrances. And I also was attracted by the packaging. Well, I was really happy to find out that it was a fantastic day night fragrance. I mean, it just smells amazing. The top notes start off with pink pepper and bergamot. And then we go into, again, just like in number five, just like in Dahlia Da Vinci, we go into the Sambac Jasmine. And that's where this, that's why this is even called Jasmine Noir. Uh, you get into that floral floral note in the middle. But you also get almond as well. So that gives it this nutty, sweetness to it as well. But then 
This is where it gets really interesting, the dry down. The dry down has licorice in it. It has myrrh. It has tonka. It has sweet things in it as well. So you end up with this really sexy, rich, opulent smelling thing at the end and it just smells awesome. So I'm so glad I blind bought this for my wife and she likes it as well. And I like it even more on her. So that's what matters most. Going to number two on my list, and it's probably gonna be a very popular one among you ladies. It is the House of YSL, and it is Black Opium. This is the other Parfum Concentration of Black Opium. And this is a number one seller in many, many, many markets. This is just an amazing fragrance. It smells good on her no matter what time of day it is because this is one that can be worn anytime. But at night and then winter time, of course, there's a little bit of an enhancement because this is a warm fragrance. So this thing starts off with coffee. Yeah, you've heard right. Coffee is in the top notes. You also get the pink pepper. You also get vetiver, patchouli, vanilla. You get some sweet stuff going on inside of this thing and it smells amazing. And you've gotta to go to the store and smell this thing. It really is amazing. And I will include links, by the way, down below where you can also purchase this bottle right here from Fragrance Net. In fact, quite a few of these are on Fragrance Net. The Chanel, unfortunately, is not on Fragrance Net, but most of the other stuff is, and I will include links so that you can buy your own for your wife or for your girlfriend or for your mom. Why not? And my all-time favorite, my number one fragrance that I absolutely love, and when I smell it, I'm in heaven. And this is the one that I love the most on my wife because it is the first, probably the most premium perfume that I bought her that I think just represents everything about her. My favorite one here is Coco Noir by Chanel. The House of Chanel makes some great things, but Coco Noir is definitely my favorite Coco of all three Cocos that are out there. And there's something to be said about that. So let's talk about what's inside this fragrance that really just attracts me. So it starts off with a little bit of citrus, but not as much citrus as the Coco Mademoiselle. It still gives you a little bright burst when you get into the grapefruit and then the Calabrian bergamot. That's part of it as well. So it starts off bright, but not too bright. You end up with rose, narcissus, jasmine, geranium leaves. So you do go down this very floral road with this thing and then, then we get to the dry down, which is what smells the most amazing on this. In the dry down, we have tonka bean, vanilla, frankincense, white musk, patchouli, sandalwood. We have it all right here in this fragrance and it's just the perfect ending to this fragrance. It's just a beautiful, very nice, sophisticated smell. It's what you should buy totally if you're looking for that sophistication date night, you're looking for a black tie event. This is the one to smell and uh, it's definitely the one to wear for that. So that's my top five. I'm sure you have your top five and I'd love to hear more about them. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think, what you like, what you dislike, you know, from my list or whatever, just whatever. Just leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, thank you for tuning in. Again, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.